Hello and welcome to the Green TV Show. We've got spoonfuls of stories、Ooh. today.、Mm. Mm. Let's go have a look.、Ooh. Rob,、mm. it's cutlery, but not as we know it. It's true. It's completely new. Each year, we throw away a staggering amount of single-use cutlery. In America alone, they throw about 40 billion pieces a year. In India, 120 billion pieces a year. It is pretty insane, but actually there are alternatives out there, and one that's just emerged from India is really interesting. Once you finish with it, Rob, you just eat it. It has a really long shelf life, about three years. It has no preservatives, and it's all natural. It's great. You can use it for the same ways that you would use normal cutlery, so eating soup, stirring your tea,、yeah. which is brilliant. So I would love to sit here in the UK. Yeah, Rob. I think we just need to jazz it up a little bit. Yeah. Let's try now. Let's try now. Let's try now. Okay. Ooh, what do you do if you've got spare food that you can't eat or sell before it goes off? Give it away. Well, if you're a massive supermarket, it might actually be harder than it actually might think. I mean, think about the logistics, Rob. I mean, they can't just. How's that work? Yeah. I mean, think about it before you start thinking. Cue Food Cloud. This is a brand new app which links supermarkets and distributors to、uh, charities who need the food most, completely free of charge. Yeah, it's really good. So charity Fair Share have linked up with British supermarket Tesco's to use the app, and actually it looks like they're doing some really, really good stuff. We've also been following the app Olio, which is a new free app connecting neighbours and local businesses together to give away surplus edible food. It's a bit like free cycle, but with food. It's great socially, and it's also good for the planet. Food waste and all that. Ooh. So scientists have actually discovered a bacteria which eats plastic. No well, way. PET, to be honest. PET. And well, PET is the worst plastic out、yeah. there. It's in bottles and blister packaging and clothes and well. Here's the bacteria. Oh, it's a long, snazzy name. I think、yeah. it's actually named after the place where they discovered it, Rob. Fact. And the plastic itself has only been around for about seventy years. So scientists believe that actually the bacteria has evolved in that time to break it down and eat it. That's great. It only takes them about six weeks to munch their way through little films of plastic. Hmm. Yeah. But Rob, okay. I think it is great and it's really exciting.、Yeah. But I'm just thinking maybe we shouldn't use the plastic in the first place. Yeah. Oh, Rob! February was pretty sweltering, wasn't it? It's very unseasonable. But it looks like we were not alone. In fact, February smashed over a century of global temperature records by a pretty massive margin. Yeah. Data from NASA shows that the global average surface temperature in February was 1.35 degrees Celsius warmer than the months between 1951 and 1980. And I mean, this margin is huge and way bigger than anything we've ever seen before. At the UN Paris Climate Talks in December, they agreed that two degrees was the absolute danger limit for global warming. Unfortunately, it looks like 2016 will be the hottest year on record since they began in 1850. Great show, there, Rob. Yeah,、oh, I really enjoyed it. Joyous, Great. joyous.、Yeah. So, why are spoons particularly good、um, at working at newspapers, Rob?、Uh, not sure. Because they're great at getting the scoop. <laughs> scoop up the laughs there. Oh, there's so many of them. I'm gonna need a ladle. <laughs> Vegetable. Don't turn off. Come on, ladle. Ladle. Just click here if you liked it or whatever, and then here if you missed last week's show. Why didn't you invite me to your party, Rob? I told you, invitation got lost in the mail, didn't it? It's just awkward now. That's my problem.